Up until now, you needed to leave a meter clearance in between the back of a heat pump and your boundary. That is no longer the case. Some great news coming up at the end of this month. Uh, the planning rules are being relaxed a little bit regards air source heat pumps. Up until now, uh, you had to leave a, a meter distance in between the site boundary and an air source heat pump. That rule is now being scrapped, so you can put a heat pump as close to your boundary as you need to, obviously allowing the proper airflow behind it. Until recently, the maximum cubic volume of huh? Of the heat pump was 0.6 square meters, that's going up to 1.5 square meters. Uh, it used to be that you need planning permission whenever you need two units, so sometimes if you've got a bigger property, higher demand, whatever reason, you might need two air source heat pumps. Up until now, you've needed to get planning permission for that second, third, etc. unit. Going forward, having two units, you won't need to get planning permission. Uh, another positive change is that uh, air to air heat pumps um, no longer need planning permission. These aren't necessarily really a, a whole house solution, they don't do hot water, but they're ideal, like we use them to heat our office and cool our office up upstairs not having to have planning permission to put one of them in is, is a nice little boost if you'd like to get in touch please you know send us a message uh, we'll put our phone number and email probably in the comments if you're an installer come down we do a free training course to see if we can walk you through all of these changes and all the standard stuff